Good evening. Well, the newspapers today were effusive in their praise of Rishi Sunak. Brexit breakthrough, Brexit done at last. The headlines were quite extraordinary. And I suppose we should celebrate, shouldn't we? I mean, after all, we can now eat the same sausages on cocktail sticks at parties in both London and Belfast. I'm being very sarcastic. I mean, the truth of it is that Northern Ireland had been left by the Conservative Party in simply the most awful place. And there is no question that Sunak's framework agreement with the European Union in terms of trade is immeasurably better than the terrible situation we were in before. There are still legal questions about the status of this agreement, how it will affect the protocol itself and indeed the treaty that we signed, leaving the European Union. There are questions around the veto. But it does seem to me that the debate is settled in that building behind me. Now, I say that, the ERG are meeting as we speak, and we'll get Jacob Rees-Mogg as soon as he leaves that room. But the real debate today has moved on to Belfast. There is one very fundamental question. Will the DUP agree to this deal? And if they do, then power sharing is going to be back. If they do, the opportunity to debate new EU laws perhaps with a veto, we'll find out in time, uh, we'll be back on the agenda. And indeed, you know, the Northern Ireland Assembly could look at the whole deal in just a couple of years' time.